the TCP protocol. The TCP header has a minimum length of 20 octets. The TCP header contains various data segment flow control functionalities. The checksum field is used for error detection code that is added to protect the TCP header from errors. Checksum computation is done in this way, where a TCP pseudo header is created. As you can see over there, that includes the IP addresses, reserved, protocol, and TCP length fields. Then the TCP header is also used, and the TCP data is also used overall together to compute the checksum. So the TCP header contains the checksum field. So therefore, initially when it's computed, the checksum is computed, that checksum field is set to all zeros. Then this is all computed, and then the computed result is placed in the checksum field for protection. The data offset field is a number of 32-bit words in the TCP header. The minimum TCP header length is 20 octets. When additional options are used, padding may be added to make the TCP header a length of a multiple of 32-bit words. And the padding would go into this area right here. Now, the reserve field is reserved for future use. And we have the source and destination ports. Frequently used port numbers are for FTP, FTP control, Telnet, and some other numbers that you can see are for SMTP, private printer, server protocol, DNS, HTTP, and there's others. The push flag is a push function represented as PSH. Here, when PSH flag is set, which means that it's equal to 1, then it pushes the data segment to the receiving application. Push enables the received data segment to be quickly used by the application. What this means is that at the receiving device, segments of payload data will be added and added and combined. And when a certain amount is accumulated, then that is delivered to the application within the receiving device. Then the application can use it for to serve the application that is being used. However, when the push flag is used, then even before that certain amount is not accumulated, when, as it comes in, it is delivered to the application to be used immediately. So therefore, that's the, the function of how the push flag operates. In addition, for urgent services, there's what we have the urgent flag. Here, when the urgent flag, the URG flag is set, which means that that one bit is equal to one, then it indicates that the urgent pointer field is used, which is the pointer field right here. The pointer field points to the urgent data location within the payload segment down there. Here, it enables the receiver to know how much urgent data is coming. And the SN, which is the sequence number, and the UP, which is the urgent pointer, basically, from these two numbers, you can see that the urgent data's last sequence number can be identified. These are the references that I used, and I recommend them to you. Thank you.